stories. They never really end, do they? Well, maybe they should. Matrix Resurrections, maybe they should. Matrix 4 is finally here. After 20 years, we had the original, original recipe Matrix, Matrix 1, a masterpiece, a classic. It reinvented the genre. It, re it did so many good things. And then the sequels, people were like, Ugh! I love the second one. Reloaded is amazing. The third one, Bleh! but now, now, oh. Finally, we get another Matrix film, and I was so excited. And then I saw the trailer, and I was like... Uh... So everyone was pretty keen on the trailer. They were all like, yay, Matrix 4, I'm in. And I'm like, I don't think I'm in, but, you know, <laughs> I'll hold reservations, because it can't be that bad. I've seen a bad film before. It can't be that bad. Right? Right? So Matrix Resurrections is probably one of the worst films I've ever seen in my entire life. It's impossibly bad. I hated this film from the first second to the last second. There was really no moment in this film where I wasn't like, I hate this. Like sometimes I laughed out loud at how much I hated this. Uh, at least seven to eight times I imagined like, if I had paid for this, I would have left and asked for my money back to go watch this at home for free. But luckily, you know, I had the, I, I saw something in that trailer that was looking a bit, and I was right. That, that guts, that, that, that instinct, if you will, of seeing a bad film in a trailer, I, I knew. It's not a film to pay for. So my first, you know, thing in this review, it's going to be a spoiler review, very spoilery. But uh, my first thing is, just don't watch it, for one, because remember the good Matrix films. But two, do not pay for this movie. By golly gosh, do not pay. So, we start off, and the movie starts, and we're like, oh, Matrix, I'm excited, the Matrix music plays, and it's all like, and the Matrix, like the green stuff, and the, you know, the Matrix stuff. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm like, all right, I'm in, I'm excited. Negative thoughts are out of my head. And then it's like, remember the first scene of Matrix 1, original recipe Matrix? And I'm like, I do. And they're like, well, here it is. And I'm like, what? And they're like, yes, it's the same scene, but it's not Trinity with the good actress playing Trinity. It's not her. It's just some random. And there's another character watching that scene. And they're like, look, it's the first scene from the Matrix, original recipe Matrix. And it's Trinity. And I'm like, what? What the hell is this? I knew it was going to be a little weird and meta, but what the hell is this? And then that just keeps going. We just see the first scene and she's like doing the thing on the walls and she's punching the agents and she's like, she's going to make a phone call. And then she makes the phone call and I'm like, the hell is this? They just reshot Matrix, but now it's bad. And now someone's literally in the film just being like, that's the film, The Matrix. I'm like, I'm going to take a deep breath because I'm going to lose my mind. This movie is so intolerably bad. I cannot handle it. And this really, you know, like this scene starts, you're like, oh, this is just the first scene. It's just the first scene. It can't all be this bad. <laughs> but it gets worse. It gets much much worse. So, Neo is trapped within another Matrix. He's not dead, but in this Matrix, he's actually the programmer for a very popular trilogy of video games called... Dot, 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 you bloody guessed it, The Matrix. What? So this is so close to actually being a spectacular idea, uh, but just they don't do anything with it. They don't do it well. They don't develop it in any interesting and meaningful ways. There's a couple of scenes where Neo's like, I'm losing my mind. It's me, Keanu Reeves. I'm acting and I'm actually acting good. No, sorry. He's always amazing. I love him. But he's actually doing quite a lot in this movie that I really enjoy. The only aspect of this film I enjoy is really his performance. And he's all like, oh, I'm, you know, am I going insane? He's talking to like the doctors and all these people and... The whole film, like the first act of this film is essentially just the Matrix itself, just gaslighting Neo. Like he's like, I think I'm in a simulation. And they're like, the Matrix, <laughs> that's just a video game you created. <laughs> it's not real. And he's like, I think it's real. They're like, I don't know what you're talking about. And it's just like, in theory and on paper, I feel like this is a really great idea. But watching it play out just felt really weird and just kind of like, I don't know, there's like no stakes and emotion in any of it because it's like, we know The Matrix is real. This film is not going to be two and a half hours long and be like a movie about Keanu Reeves, the actor, thinking he was in The Matrix, but it was real, but it's just a movie or something like that. It's like, no, 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 no. The Matrix will be real. He's going to go back to Zion. He's going to go back into that horrific world where you're just like, why would anyone want to be in that? I'd rather live in The Matrix. Screw Zion. 
which we'll get to. And, but, you know, it's just like, there's no stakes. There's no emotional feeling to any of it because we know the outcome. We know at some point in the movie he's going to take the red pill or the blue pill. Who cares? I can't even remember. I don't care enough. I've already forgotten so much of this film. And I don't want to forget it. Like, as soon as, as I was watching, I'm just like, just washing over me being like, I don't even want to remember this. This is so painful and brutally just bland and uninteresting and just so close though. Like at points, there are like interesting themes and ideas it's trying to do, but I really felt like the filmmaking and just every aspect of the film, like even just down to the action was just like, no, no, oh, oh, no, 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 no. But the worst part of this film is probably how meta it is. And I was expecting a bit of meta. There were rumors spouting about everywhere that this was going to be in like a, like Keanu Reeves was going to be playing Keanu Reeves and in like a movie. And he's going to be like, you know, I'm the actor Keanu Reeves from that movie, The Matrix. Because how else would the, you know, what an interesting idea for the machines to be like, if he's in another Matrix, how would people trick, you know, like if someone's like, you're in a simulation, you're in The Matrix, but there's a movie called The Matrix. You'd just be like, like in real life, you'd just be like, what are you talking about, you crazy idiot? You're talking about the movie The Matrix with Keanu Reeves. So imagine that, but you are Keanu Reeves. Like, that's really interesting. And I really do think, especially that he just looks like Keanu Reeves now. Like, he doesn't have the really short hair and he's got the beard. I mean, Neo, he doesn't really look like Neo. He just kind of looks like Keanu Reeves in this film. And I do think that's because there was that one film, uh, the title, I can't remember, Bill and, Bill and Ted's Adventure Bogus Journey or whatever. The title's there. But, like... In that, he shaved his beard and everyone in the whole, you know, in the whole world just kind of went, oh, uh, please grow that beard back. Please grow that back immediately, Keanu Reeves, because uh, you actually don't look as sexy and amazing and suave as, yeah, yeah the beards. I don't want to say, I don't want to say it, but we all had to say it. The beard's doing a lot. Like it's hiding the age. It's making you look just, oh, God, he looks good. And in this movie, he looks amazing. And I'm glad he has the beard, but he doesn't look like Neo. He looks like Keanu Reeves. So I think, don't make him some video game engineer man who's like, I made the video games, The Matrix, I made the movie. It's like, make him be the actor Keanu Reeves. You could have had a lot more fun with this all. And then there's a scene where Morpheus, oh God, we'll get to Morpheus. So he's offering him the pill. He's like, I got the red pill. I got the blue pill. I got all the pills. Remember the movie. Ba, 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 ba. Member, member, member. But instead of like a really interesting scene that's like developing the story and like, you know, probing into the character's minds and asking these intense, amazing like questions about life and like, is reality real and all these things. Like those scenes in Matrix 1 were not just great scenes in film. They were so iconic that they made every loser idiot like me just overquote them to the point where they're now like frustrating you know like they're like i don't want to hear about that red pill blue pill shit shut up we're not in the simulation gary you know it's like that kind of thing was just like i don't know it was just so iconic it was overwhelmingly iconic it was like beyond anything and it was such an amazing scene from the visuals from the characters from the performances all the things and the writing and everything and now he's like doing the same scene he's like pills i got the pills in my hand but then he's also like but also look up there on that projector. Matrix 1's playing. Pretty good movie, true? But it's not even a movie in this universe. It's a video game. It's a video game. He's like, look how good that video game looks. It looks like the movie Matrix 1. Look at all that resolution on their face. I'm like, what? You couldn't even recreate the scenes from Matrix 1, but not like make them all PlayStation 2-y or something, which would kind of be fun and interesting. Like this film was so close to just being like a stupid, silly slapstick comedy. Like, I feel like if I watched this with, like, a group of friends, we'd just be laughing at it the whole time. So they may as well have lent into it and, like, done interesting things. Like, that he, the video game he created is so realistic and so lifelike that it's just human beings on screen from a movie, from The Matrix 1, original recipe Matrix. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Lana Wachowski? Are you kidding me? I don't buy this shit. In fact, I'm disgusted, offended, and uh, a little bit just like, no, <laughs> a little bit. I am incredibly irritated that you think you can just project on the back of a screen being like, remember that other movie? While they sit in chairs that are like that other movie and just being like, remember that other movie? This is what cinema has been like for the last 10 years, but it's never been this egregious and disgusting and lazy and cheap and pathetic. It's just utterly disgusting and just far too meta for its own good. 
and it's not interesting. It's not funny. It's not like, ha, ha, ha. you know what this film really feels like it's trying to be? I feel like it's trying to be Scream 2. Well, not just Scream 2, actually. Like, the whole Scream franchise. But particularly the scene that comes to mind is, like, the scene in Scream 2 where all the film students are all hanging out. And, you know, it's Scream 2, the sequel. And they're all talking about sequels being inferior to the original. And someone's like, actually, no, what about T2? And what about Aliens? And blah, blah, blah. And they have a whole f discussion about sequels. And it's very meta. And it's very fun, though, because it's like... Yeah, these are all just characters in a high school. Like I've been to, I've went to film school. Like we have discussions like that where everyone's being low. Like, um, 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 actually, <laughs> I actually this sequel is actually very good. And then someone's like, actually that sequel's not. And you know, you just get into these really nerdy, disgusting, lame, cringy discussions because you're all just way too into this thing. That who cares? Who cares? You can like the sequel or not, but it's really fun because that movie then embraces all those sequel ideas and all that stuff, and it just leans into it. It's like in the fabric of the film. The fabric of the franchise is mocking and embracing and then reinventing the genre. Scream is a revolutionary meta storytelling, really. And this film is like, remember that revolutionary genre changing film we made, The Matrix? How about we just reference it and we just say, remember that film? Not bloody good enough, mate. Not good enough at all. It's honestly so unbearable. I can't even comprehend how this happened and there are a few meta lines in the film like where they like say stuff like well Warner Brothers they were gonna make this movie with or without the creators like haha and I'm like well maybe that was gonna happen but maybe you should have just let them make it because Lana you made the first three and now you've made four and I mean, honestly, I think a, r a room full of executives could have made something better than this because uh, a room full of executives made Force Awakens. And despite everyone's uh, issues with that film, at least it's not one of the single worst pieces of cinematic anything that's ever been made. I can't even speak properly. I'm so angry. It's such a terrible film. This is like a disaster. This is honestly, this film, people keep saying something, something, something Marvel superhero cinema is dead. No, they're all wrong. Shut the hell up. The MCU is amazing. You see Spider-Man No Way Home? Bloody nostalgia, but done right, mostly. This film really makes me go, oh, wait, no, they're all right. The reboot, remake, legacy sequel universe that we live in now, with the, that's all that we've been making for 10 years. And now this is the moment where now I, ha I have to put my foot down. The foot went down. Cinema is dead. The Matrix Resurrections killed cinema. Oh my god. I hate this movie so goddamn much. It's so bad. You know why? Lawrence Fishburne and uh, bloody... What's his name? His name's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. Elrond. Um, um, Mr. Smith. No, that's the... Hugo Weaving. You know why Hugo Weaving and Lawrence Fishburne weren't in this film? Because they read the script and they're like, ha 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 No, because I'd rather die in my grave than be part of this disgusting, horrific movie that completely burns down the legacy of our favorite franchise where we're amazing in it. Yeah, put budget Morpheus in this. Who's budget Morpheus slash Mr. Smith or whatever. And it's just a CGI robot like he's from Terminator or whatever. But not like, you know, the good Terminator, just like Terminator 5 or whatever. Terminator Genesis or Legacy or whatever the hell the last few were called. Dark Blood? Dark World? Dark something. This film feels like it's complicated and it's trying to be like complicated and edgy and, you know, it's tripping with your mind. Like even characters say at one point where they do a montage where they're like, it's the montage of what the Matrix is like. And they're like, it's this, it's that, it's all these things. It's so complicated. It's not just punchy punchy, it's wordy and it's this and all this nonsense stuff. It's just so try hard scream too. But to me, it's just convoluted, repetitive, boring, terrible, unfunny, uninteresting, bland, pathetic, cash grab, other word, just terrible. Just a terrible cash grab. The cat's called Deja Vu. <laughs> you get it? Because when he saw the cat, the black cat, he's like, Deja Vu, I saw the cat. Oh, And they're like, oh, Matrix. <gasps> Remember that good scene from the Matrix one? Of course you do. You're like, of course, iconic, amazing. It sets up an amazing action sequence, blah, blah, blah. Morpheus gets captured. You know, all the things. Well, now it's just a cat and he drinks out of a cat drink bowl thing, you know? You know the bowls they drink out of. Just says deja vu on it. 
It's the cat's name. That's where we're at now. That's where cinema's at. So the film's whole first act is just Neo being like, Oh no, it's the Matrix 1, but I've got the sexy beard and sexy long hair. Oh, and it's a meta, it's a meta story, but it's not meta in the good way. And I'm not Keanu Reeves. Why isn't he just Keanu Reeves? I've said that too many times. Let's just let's, let's move on from that. But you know what? I was pretty much just like, let's move it along. Let's get, you know, we'll get to Zion. And then at least something exciting can happen. Act two begins. We get to Zion. And I'm like, God damn it. I forgot that Zion's the worst part of the Matrix series. Like the, the worst part of the first three films, which now in hindsight are just, I mean, the first one is a masterpiece, but two and three, absolute masterpieces. Even the third one is now a masterpiece in comparison. The third one is almost unwatchable. I don't like it at all, but like, it's a masterpiece now. It's one of the best films ever made in comparison to this absolute train wreck of a film. Deep breaths, Jax. Deep breaths. So we get to Zion and it's like, okay, how's Zion going? And they're like, it's not Zion anymore. It's Ion or whatever. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's this or this. Who cares? It doesn't matter. They've, it's, just, it's Zion. They've called it something different, but it's Zion. But everyone's got these ugly clothes and the ugly food and it's all disgusting and I just want to live back in the Matrix. Take me back to the Matrix. But then I'm like, oh, but I don't want to go back to the Matrix because it's not the Matrix. It's not this beautiful 90s aesthetic with this green tinge and this very like stylized and iconic look. It just looks like slick, overly polished, modern, sci-fi world. Like it just... It just looks like any kind of film that comes out now that's like, it's a sci-fi world. It's the world that you think it is, but everyone's smartphones do a thing that you don't like. You know, it's just like a really expensive episode of Black Mirror or just like the total reboot remake or whatever. It's just, everything just has this slick, shiny, just crisp look. Everything's a bit too fancy. The CGI doesn't hold up in this film. The visual effects, all the things just in the Matrix. I'm just like... This doesn't have that feel anymore. And I know these films came out 20 years ago, so they're going to feel different. And this really feels like the 90s to early 2000s gritty feel of The Matrix. And now this film really does have that harsh difference that The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings have. And I would argue with The Hobbit, at least I'm still living in that world. It might not be the same looking and the same, you know, it's digital film. Some things are a bit too heightened. The dwarves don't all look the same and stuff. But at least it feels like the same universe in a lot of ways. Whereas this, you know, there's the action, there's the punching stuff, but is it like the gung fu, kung fu martial arts of the Matrix? Absolutely not. There's just a bit of punch, punch, punch. We're on walls, bang, bang, bang. But it's uninspired, it's uninvented, it's disgustingly boring, it's bland, it's unimaginative, it's repetitive. It's honestly impossibly boring. I was so bored by this movie. There's almost no action and all the action we get is just so boring. It's so bad. Like, The Matrix Reloaded is literally got the 40 minutes of just the greatest action scene you'll ever see. They built a highway to have an action scene on that highway. There is not a second of this movie that feels anything on part of that. And it's a travesty. It's an absolute travesty. Hey, I forgot to mention any of the side characters, all of which are completely uh, interchangeable and disposable and just the worst things ever. And uh, there's a bit where all of them are lining up and Naomi, Naomi's in this. Who cares? The little the little chick from the train station from the third movie, she's in it. Who cares? Probably another character from the Matrix trilogy. Who cares? But yeah, all the side characters, they're all standing in the line and they're all like, we're standing in the line and this is the epic moment. We're all going to band together and do some kind of thing, an action thing. And then Naomi, she's like, I'm old now. I'm old. Ooh. And she's like, you all, you all don't even know what I'm going to tell you, ask you to do in this heroic moment. And they all stand. They're like, we know your character, Naomi. Naomi, Naomi. I, who cares? Who cares what her name is? And they're like, we know your character, old lady Naomi. We, we know. And we stand by you. And I'm like, who the hell are any of these people? Have these all been in the movie? Have all of these characters been in this movie? Like, are these new characters? Who, who are they? I don't remember. I didn't think this film was going to be good. And it it's exceeded my expectations in the wrong way. Like, it was so much worse than I could have possibly imagined. I can't remember a film that I've just sat there just being like... I just want to stop watching. Oh my God. There's one point when Neil Patrick Harris is like, it's me, Neil Patrick Harris, and the movie's over and it's it's the climax and I'm going to reveal things now. And then he reveals it by being like, oh, I'm going to get you with your own little gimmick, Neo. Bullet time. 
and he's like, bullet, bullet, bullet time. I will reveal my ultimate plan. I am the architect, or maybe I'm not. I, I'm not sure. I, I zoned out a lot. I was on my phone. And yeah, I don't know. It's just like, what the? God damn, bullet time was so inventive and so amazing. And it's so revolutionary. And in this film, they're just like, punch, punch, punch. And, you know, even just the visual effects that we had from the other movies where it's like, <laughs> I'm a Mr. Smith agent now or whatever. It just looks bad now. There's bits. Oh, my God. Instead of Neo, you know, remember Neo when he's like, he says karate, martial arts. And he's like, boom, 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 boom. Upgrades. Boom, 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 boom. It's just amazing. That's just amazing. Well, now, instead of fighting, I guess... Could, no, I was going to say because he's too old, but no. He's John Wicking all over the place. Where it's like, bam, 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 bam. John Wick, I'm John Wick, I shoot. Oh, he's so good in that. And apparently there's lots of, you know, real stunts and stuff. But in this, instead of cool karate, he's just like... Rah, 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 and he just shoots force power. Where he's just like, I'm a superhero now. And just shoots power out. There's one joke in this song. There's one humorous joke. And when I say humorous, I mean it's meant to be humorous. It's not funny at all. It 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 made me sick. Like it it, it was like uh it's like I got shrinkage over my whole body where I just went and I just I just started coming in on myself and all parts of my body. My soul just shrunk. It was just absolutely horrific and disgusting. And they're like, Can you still fly? And he's like, Yeah. And he's like, and he goes to fly. And then he's like, actually, no, I I I I cannot fly. But it's not like a whole big moment where you like you build up and the tension and the, the action and you're like, oh, he's going to fly. And then he can't. It's like it half does it. And then the line where he's like, I can't fly. He's just like, I can't do it. Who cares? Let's move on to the next scene. It's like they didn't set it up properly and then they didn't execute the, the payoff properly. It just, they were like, we got to do a scene. There's another scene in the trailer where he's like, I can still do Kung Fu. But he's just like, it's not like a big moment where it's like he hasn't done any Kung Fu. Then he's just like, wow. I can still do Kung Fu. Like a moment. He's just punching for like a minute. And then after a minute, he's like, oh, I can still do Kung Fu. And then just keeps fighting. And it's like, I swear you did Kung Fu earlier. Were you not surprised then? What is this movie? God damn it. This film is so gimmicky and meta and just, oh, it just, it, it feels like it's doubled down on all the worst aspects of the remakes, reboots, legacy sequels, and all that kind of stuff that Hollywood has just been like, this is what you want. Remember that IP from 20 years ago you love? And I'm like, I do. I remember Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit. The Hobbit has a billion issues. Masterpiece compared to this. Terminator, Dark Fate. Kind of as bad as this, but somehow probably still better. But that, that was a bad film too. Somehow the final battle is just all spectacle, but also absolutely nothing and you feel nothing and it's like big explosions and fire and everything and motorcycles and main characters going through stuff and it all technically looks good, I guess, you know, for how bad the film mostly looks. Uh, God, the CGI in this does not hold up, like, <laughs> at all. It's, this is Matrix 4. Why does this look bad? Like, but yeah, you really know your film's not working where the final act, whatever happens, you're just like, I just don't care. Like, Neo could do the most incredible thing, and I just don't care. Well, at one point, a helicopter shoots a missile at him, and he's like, Wah! and it hits another helicopter, and I'm like, please just end the movie? Like, if that helicopter exploding ends the movie, do it. But if it doesn't, just don't do it. Just end this goddamn movie. It feels like it goes for 300 hours. So I give this film a 1 out of 10, and that one is for Keanu Reeves acting in this atrocious you know, mess of a film and, you know, he's acting and I, I enjoyed his acting and his hair and his beard. He's got a good look going on. I understand why they kept the John Wick look, even though he doesn't look like Neo at all. I, I like it. It's, he it looks sexy. I, I, I dig. One, one, one point, one star, one, 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 one thingy for Keanu Reeves. Nothing else because of the movie. Maybe Warner Brothers did make him make this film and they're like, you gotta do it, you gotta do it, or we're gonna do it without you. You should have let him do it without you. Because what you made makes every film I've ever seen seem better. I think I could just put on, I can now, you know, the one good thing about this movie is that now instead of scrolling through Netflix being like, ah, oh, that doesn't look very good, oh, maybe, oh, and just not being outside, whatever I put on Netflix will be better than this film. I could just close my eyes, go three down, right, two to the right. Four down, seven to the right, whatever I do, whatever combination of things I do with a blindfold on, 
I will click that film and whatever plays will be better than this film. How could it not be? How could it not be? He doesn't really get the line. I mean, maybe he does, but I forgot it. But there's no line where he's like, Mr. Anderson. And he's like, my name's Neo. But instead, uh, a character's like, your name's... Uh, what was her name? Your name's Tiffany. And she's like, I-, I don't like that name. My name's Trinity. And I'm like, like Matrix 1, original recipe Matrix. Yep, that's... Fantastic. Speaking of, she's now also the one or whatever and could fly. They're both Superman. They both do the Superman thing. Or she just does? I don't know. I was I was so zoned out by the end. I saw them both flying and he's like, this isn't me! Oh, this isn't me! And I'm like, well, it's clearly her. Neo, you idiot. <laughs> like, who else would it be? An invisible guy on your left? Like, what are you talking about? God damn it, Neo. And then she's like, it's me. And then they fly... And then they both land and they're like, Neil Patrick, Neil Patrick Harris is in this. <laughs> who cares? Who cares? And she's like, Neil Patrick Harris, you're the architect or something. Or uh, Who cares? Who cares? And she's like, I'm going to punch you. And he punches the drone. There's a bunch of punching. And Neil's like, respect, Trudy, respect. And then she's like, the film's almost done. Cue cringy action music. And then they, they fly off and cringy music plays. And then it's like, directed by Lana Wachowski and I'm like man that's bold to make a movie that bad and then you, you just put your name right at the end like that with this cringy rock music play and being like you're into this movie yeah yeah and I'm like you know what I think this film is so bad so so impossibly bad impossibly bad I bet you there's a post credit scene by god there was a post credit scene and they're like oh Matrix is old what about Catrix Catrix, cat, cat, cat videos? The cat matrix? Are you goddamn kidding me? How is the post credit scene in 12 seconds worse than the whole movie? The movie that is the worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life. But what does everyone else think? Was everyone like, yeah, big yays. I love this movie. I love The Matrix. You're wrong. Matrix Resurrections was great. <laughs> I'd really like to hear. Comment below. Let me know, like, what did you like about it? And uh, more importantly, uh, are you okay? Uh, what's wrong? Like, uh, have you been having a hard time? Because uh, something's clearly wrong. And I guess I'll leave this question, the last, the last question, the YouTube question. Blue pill or red pill? Or would you take the yellow pill for this film to not exist? It's a trick question. It's the yellow pill. Obviously.